Stay tuned for tips and techniques from the nation's top chefs in the Chef's Kitchen. As we were saying earlier, we're going to start with a nice, fresh, crisp rosé. Absolutely. Beautifully chilled from Costier de Nîmes. Chateau Guillot is a 2008. Mm -hmm. And uh, with rosés, you always want to have the latest vintage. Yes. Don't, you know, it's, uh, as, far, as far as white wines and red wines, you can experiment with older wines and they do acquire some complexity with age. With rosé, you want that, that explosion of flavors. You, you want oh, something that's... Oh, explosion is what we want. So hi and welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Tina Marie. Thank you very much. And today I'm joined by Chef Olivier de Saint-Martin. Bonjour. Of Caribou Cafe and Zinc Restaurant here in Philadelphia. That's correct. And of course, Miss Daphne Payan from Rhone Valley Wines. And of course, Jean-Luc Ledeux from Ledeux Wines in New York City. We are enjoying Costia de Nîmes today. Awesome. And the festive, historical, cultural, culturally rich atmosphere Santé. that it affords. About festive, you know, you, you talk about the ferias, you know, which are, are those, uh, those events that are staged in the arenas of Nîmes. Yes. And, you know, you have like bullfights, you have concerts. All that. Uh, uh, Costia de Nîmes, I always think uh, as, as wines that are inviting for the party. Yes. And you're going to a friend's house for a barbecue, for a picnic, you know, for a nice grilled fish, you know, on the, on the grill. And those wines are amazing. They're simple, but yet they're very well defined. Uh, this is a blend of uh, Grenache, uh, Carignan, uh, and uh, oh, yeah. taste. I think this is Lovely really refreshing. Lovely to start out with a rosé. It's a great way to start a day with. Mm. <laughs> or evening. Or... Fresh, clean, and dry. A leisurely filled wine. Mm -hmm. So I know you're going to be joining us throughout the show, introducing okay. some new, wonderful, unique wines to us. So we're really looking forward to them, okay. seeing what okay. Chef comes up with to pair them with. Perfect. Thank you bon so appétit. much. Yes. So Chef, what are we going to be cooking today? Okay, today we're going to take uh, some uh, halibut right out of the water. It's right ah. out of the refrigerator. Some fresh, is it Atlantic halibut? We're going to poach it. And uh, when you poach it, you want to uh, keep the cartilage on it and mm -hmm. uh, skin. Okay. I see. Because it's going to cook uh, in, a, in a liquid that we're going to make now. Very good. So we're going to put a little bit of milk, like I, like I did, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of salt. Some sea salt? Uh, some sea salt, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, a couple of uh, black pepper uh, corn. Okay. And uh, for this amount, I'm just going to put one bay leaf, because nice. bay leaf is kind of uh, strong. Yes. So a little bay leaf like this. Some, wa some water like this. Okay. And of course, a little wine. And since we're... We're going to uh, use a Costia de Nîmes wine? Yeah, why not? It's here. Might as well use it. Well, if, you're, if it's right. good enough to drink, it's good enough to cook Absolutely. With. going to uh, serve the, that fish uh, with uh, red beet vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. We have all this herb de Provence. Beautiful herbs. So I have herbs. some marjoram here. I have some thyme. Some basil. Basil. Some tarragon. Yes, tarragon is right. Beautiful chives, Rosemary. Looks like. and chives. Rosemary. And then I... So you just plate, you're immersing the entire right. fish right in that, just enough the poaching form. liquid. Now, how long will it take to cook in that liquid? I'm going to poach that for about, uh, uh, I would say, eight minutes, ten minutes. Okay, so in this pot. All right, in this pot, it's potatoes. You know, potatoes, okay. salt, water, potatoes. That's potatoes. That's it. So, so what we're going to do in the meantime, while everything is cooking, I'm going to prepare my vinaigrette. Okay. Okay. This is the beet vinaigrette. It's right. the beet vinaigrette. So we leave the beet alone for now. Okay. I have a very good vinegar, very good vinaigrette, very good vinegar, very good oil. Okay. What kind of vinegar is this? So it's a sherry vinegar from mm -hmm. uh, Xerez. You know the uh, uh, Spanish uh, Spanish vinegar. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have a little bit of vinegar. Okay. In the vinegar, you put the salt. If not, the salt won't dissolve in the in the oil. Right. So you got to be doing that now. A little bit of pepper. Right. I put shallot. a shallot. And then we have this uh, olive oil. So then I'm going to put my bits in there. My bits will bleed slightly into the, into the oil. So okay. This is how you see for the, 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 the fish is cooked. I'm not just for the honey, not just the honey, but everything. You put uh, against the bone, and if you feel a little resistance, yes. it's not quite done. So my potatoes is just perfect. Mm. And what we do, we just mash it like this. Yes. It's cooked. So it's done. Yeah, that the spoon it went straight went through. 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 Right so through that, that's good. Through. So we put it here. All of that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, set up my um, my potatoes in the middle okay. of the plate. Okay. And you put the fish on top like this. Mm-hmm. 
Look how beautifully that vinaigrette just livened up our plate, too. Perfect. I think we need some wine with this. I, don't, don't we? What are you going to come up with, Jean? Alors là, for this, we're going to have a white wine. And this really shows ah. you the whole, the, the whole panorama of wines that are produced in the Costière de Nîmes. We started with the rosé. Then we had a, a little bit of red wine to show you what, what can be achieved with all vines. And now we have Mascarlo. This ah. is a, a wine that's made from 50% part uh, Roussan and Marsan. I love those two grapes. Marsan, for me, uh, really brings up the, the, what I like about Marsan, it, it, it's very concentrated, but always has great acidity, great finesse, great elegance to it. And Roussan is big, boisterous, mm. you know, it's mm -hmm. a great, it's, I love Roussan, so. Uh, I love your description of it. And again, this allows us to appreciate, like you were saying, the diversity of the wines of the Côte de Rhone, uh, especially the Costia de Nîmes. We've enjoyed rosé, reds, whites, and we can pair them with any kind of food. They really marry beautifully with and them. I love this as like almost like a floral uh, yeah, type of aromas to it mm -hmm. it's, it's full bodied it's it's a uh, I would say it's called it's like a larger than life wine but at the same time it's restrained yes it's yes. Uh, it's big but it's not over the top well let's toast to that cheers right. chef and I think cheers, you should chef. work great with it's your honey beautiful work. Yeah, yeah. marvelous explicit technique mm. Do we get to eat the food? Very good. Oh, at some point we do, right? Oh, okay. I think it's time now. I think it's time. It's going to go perfect. Yeah. Please, Please gather around, everyone. See you. Go. Thank you. And you don't need a knife. No, you don't need a knife at all. This is just unbelievably tender and... Oh, it's perfectly cooked, Chef. Mm -hmm. Oh, Chef. That's because she was watching it. Oh, look, he gives me credit. What a nice gentleman. That's beautifully done. That's good. Wonderful. And I love the, the potatoes. Mm. It's not just a puree. It has consistency. You get chunks. And it, I think it's a perfect backdrop to the, to the, the Absolutely. fish. Absolutely. I love the French. Here you go. <laughs> we do. Oh, we love America, so it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. We're having a wonderful time here at the Chef's Kitchen. I want to thank all of you for joining us today, for presenting some just wonderful, wonderful wines, for preparing a beautiful dish and teaching Something. us some very important techniques and just having a great time here in the very Chef's Kitchen. Very affordable wines. Thank you. And, they're all, you know, and all those wines are under $15 Cheers. a bottle, which I think is a great good value. Stuff. Great values as well. Cheers, everyone. Thank Cheers. You. To see today's recipe and all of the recipes featured on the Chef's Kitchen, log on to chefskitchen.tv.